Jennifer, and happy Monday to you. Monday means that it is time for Cheer Corner. And Cheer Corner is the way that we can change the world one card at a time. I create a card, and you can nominate someone to receive this card. Now, at this time, whenever I make a Christmas card in August or September or October, then I will send a different card because people don't want a Christmas card at this time of year. But if you tell me who your person is and what their situation is, then I will create a card just for them. Okay, so I think that's kind of important. My name is Jackie Vandersar Boot, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in both Canada and the Netherlands. So let's get started. I have shared the sketch um, with you earlier today on my Pampered Stamper page. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I will also post it in the community tab so you can see it there and you can play along. I love it when you guys post your creations on my page as well. So please do so. Now let's take a look. All right, here we go. So here are the two stamps that, I, that I'm going to be using. I, I haven't quite decided, but here is the Reindeer Fun, and this is the stamp set that all my St. Jacob's attendees are going to get. So yesterday was actually the deadline for registering, but it was a Sunday, and I don't like working on Sunday, so I decided to extend it till today. So if you were freaking out that you missed out, you still have today if you want to register, okay? It's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to get this stamp set. If you want, you can order this as an extra. You can order the dies as well. And they are here. So they're beautiful. I've done something now. I've created 20 cards. And some of the people last year didn't like that we used Memories and More cards because they like to do more stamping. And, well, you'll be happy to know that the 20 cards that I've designed do not involve the Memories and More cards that you'll be getting. You'll get them and you can use them for the inside of your cards. You can use them as extra quick and easy cards. But you're going to get some amazing designs. Okay? So that's good to know. So that's the one stamp set. And then this is the other one, the Peaceful Season. And I'm using this die from Peaceful Season. And this is what it looks like when you die cut it. It's really, really pretty. Okay. And there's other dies in there as well. There's a beautiful one that does cuts out the word, big word Christmas. And yeah, it's just really beautiful. I think I took the insides out, so I can't show you everything. But yeah. All right, let's get started. I am using one of my favorite products from the catalog, and it's a large assorted Memories and More card. So at the retreat, people are also going to get a package of cards. So they're going to get these white cards, 10 large ones, 10 small ones. They're so nice. The envelopes come with it. You, you, I like the bigger card as well, and the small one also mails just fine. So we're going to use the golden greenery paper. This piece... Look at the other side is really nice as well. And the dies cut these out. Really gorgeous. But I want to use this green stripe. And it's four and an eighth by six and an eighth. We're going to put that down first. It's actually quite a simple card. Lots of layers. The more layers, the more love. And I'm not sure if I interpreted the sketch correctly. But you know what? There's always wiggle room when you play with a card sketch. I may have added an extra layer you guys can let me know what you think so that there we have the base and now we're going to start with our first layer on here and this one is three and a quarter by five and a quarter let me double check to see if i remembered that correctly yeah three and a quarter by five and a quarter and then i'm going to use this piece with the bells and it's three and an eighth by five and an eighth so we just have a little edge i'm going for one eighth of an inch edges okay so let's give that. This is also beautiful. Really nice. I love this paper. I've um, designed some of my St. Jacob's cards for, because not only have I designed 20 cards for people to make, I've also designed a lot of other cards just for inspiration for people. And they get to use my all my products from the Holiday Mini to see what they want. I call it try before you buy. Okay, so now this is going to go on the card with an even edge all around. See, it looks pretty just like that. The nice thing about this sketch is that you can layer all different pattern papers from the same set because it all coordinates and then just pick one of the coordinating cardstocks and then you will get a beautiful look. I'm using liquid adhesive because I find that it gives me a bit more wiggle room to slide things around so that it's not crooked. And now this piece I might pop up 
this is two and an eighth by, ooh, is it four and an eighth? No, it's four inches by two inches. So four by two, and then this is one and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So let's put that together first. And I'm just gonna pop over to see if anyone's commented yet. No one has commented yet that I can see, but I, when I finish my video, then I often see comments that says, I'm here, I'm here. And sometimes it just doesn't pop up right away on my screen. So I'm assuming that some of you guys are watching and I will answer all the comments later as well. Okay, so now just sliding it in so that we have a nice even edge. Now I'm not going to put this down yet because I haven't decided for sure if I want to pop it up, but I think I do. Now look, I have two pieces of this greenery and if you think that there's something different about it, you are right. This is vellum. So vellum and gluing can be a little bit tricky. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. I want to put these two on the top like so and I'm going to alter the sketch a little bit by putting the saying at the bottom. Okay, so let's start with this. I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the tips of the greenery here and that will give it a little bit of movement. It will feel a little bit more open and breezy. There's the one. And there's the other. And then I might add an embellishment up there yet. I don't know. I'm going to leave that like that for now. And now I'm going to pop this up. So let's flip it over. And I actually found some dimensionals where they were supposed to be. I cleaned up my desk the other day. That always feels good. It never stays clean for long. Hello, Catherine. So nice to see you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's looking good, isn't it? Catherine and I went to the same Christian school in Guelph. So we go back a long ways. And sometimes we'd sit on the bus together from Guelph to Fergus, which was about a half an hour on the bus. Not always the nicest thing to do. At the end of school, you just want to get home. Okay, look at that. Popped up. Now I have to decide, do I want the love from our home to yours or do we want to do the Merry Christmas from the Reindeer Fun? So I'm going to stamp an old olive. Normally I would stamp in Mossy Meadow and um, thanks Catherine, but my Mossy Meadow ink pad isn't very great. It's kind of light. It's not doing very well. I need to replace it. So I'm going to do old olive, which is also in this paper. But here's a Merry Christmas and I'm hoping it's straight. I don't think it is, but, oh, you know what? That's not bad at all because I was not sitting in front of it. I actually did that quite quickly. Hello, Jean from Ohio. So nice to see you here. All right, now what are we gonna do? The love from our home to yours is quite delicate and the Merry Christmas is a little bit bigger. I think because it's a big card, I might want to go towards the, the big Merry Christmas. Now, those little things in here, you could slip um, a ribbon through, but I'm not going to do that. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to alter this and I'm going to cut that little ribbon thing off. I'm just going to do this and because then it doesn't look silly. For another card, I will use the, the ribbon, but now I just want this. It looks really pretty and decorative. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... The bus drive was super long. Hi, Alfie. I am doing great. I'm so excited. On, on Wednesday, in two days, we fly home. I'm always flying home. Um, but this is great. My mom is excited to see me. And then on, so on Wednesday, we fly back to Canada, to Toronto. And then we go see my mom and spend a night there. And then on Thursday, we fly to Nova Scotia to see my son, Oliver, who moved there last year. So that's exciting, too. So look at that. Now, I think it just needs a little ribbon on the top. So I'm just going to back up. Hi, Anne from Northern Ireland. Someday I'm going to come and visit you, Anne, because Ireland is on our bucket list. So much history there. So much history. Okay, I'm just going to grab some ribbon. I'm going to back up. All right, I'm 
come back, come back, come back. Look, I hope that wasn't too noisy. I've got this gorgeous gold ribbon. This gold and silver ribbon is available on the online exclusives. So you know what I'm going to do? I want to make this a double bow. I don't know if you guys can see this very well. This is my little bow maker. So it's got these little pegs and you can move them so that your bow can be bigger or smaller. And I just want to push that down. I'm going to loop it around twice. And then you make an X. So I've got it looped around twice, but I've got it twisted and I don't want that. So loop it around twice, make an X. And then actually I'm going to make the X this way because it has to go over. So make an X and then this one goes around and then underneath. And then we tie it nice and tightly there. And then you can loop it off. See, it's sitting on here. And then we just take it off. And now I have a double bow. It's just, it's, it's a bit of a stiff bow because it's a metallic bow. So you need to manipulate it a little bit. See? And now I'm going to take my ribbon scissors. It's really cool, isn't it? And maybe I should have left them a little bit longer, but this is okay. And then look, that looks great. That bow, that greenery just needs something to hold it on. I'm just going to grab a glue dot. So we're just going to take our glue dots off. Always make sure your last glue dot is covered. Wow, I didn't. And make sure you rip it off at the end of the last so that the first one is right there. I didn't do that last time. So give it a nice press. Press it hard onto the glue dot. And oh, yeah, here it is. And then take your pokey tool and lift it off. And then you can press it right where you need it to go and you don't get it stuck on your finger. Isn't that great? I'm really happy with this card. So that's the sketch for today. And then let me show you something. I have this little bucket that I had, little container. And these are the dies from the golden green room. So there's this one, and then there's this one. How cool is that? Then there's more. It's really a great set. Classic, classic Christmas. And I've also, it comes in two sizes, but those are both the same size, so I'm not trying to trick you. Let's see, here's the smaller size. See, it's a bit, oh, I'm going off the screen here. Let me move this, I'm running out of room. See? And then we have the vellum, which is really pretty too. And here's another vellum piece. So we're going to fuse these. The reason I'm showing you these is because I want to put them in the inside of the card. So I'm going to move this out of the way. We're going to open up our card. Alfie, you keep freezing on my end? Yeah. You know what? I forgot to plug in. I'm just going to plug something in and see if it makes a difference. Oh, that was the, uh, that was um, my heat tool falling out of the window there. Okay. I have this cord that plugs me directly into the Wi-Fi and I just plugged it in. So I don't know if this has made a difference, Alfie. Um, Gerard was vacuuming. He's the vacuum cleaner in my house, in our house. And I had picked some stuff off the floor and that cord I had unplugged. So that could be the problem. So let's hope. Let's see. I love my ribbon maker. My niece made me mine 10 years ago when I first started. That's so nice. Okay, so here's the inside. And, you know, you could just from the top here, look how pretty that is. And I don't know if I want to mix it with other greenery, but even just that one is really pretty. And then vanilla on white also looks really nice. Look. So I'm going to pop it up. It's going to be a thick card. That's okay. It is beautiful paper and a great bundle. So that's in the online exclusives, so don't miss out on them. You don't have to wait till September 6th to get your Christmas sets. You can get them online now. So I like that. And I'm just going to add a little dab of glue to the stem. Because you can see your um, glue through the vellum. So you want to be really um, sparing with your glue. There we go. I just think that's really simple but it's beautiful. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it when you come in, when you comment. I hope that you were inspired by this bundle. Oh, you know what? I want to show you something yet. Back, 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 Jackie. 
Okay, here we go. Um, I had a couple of cards that I made, and they are they were inspired by someone, a stamp set, a, a site called Jilly Bling. And I thought that can't be her real name, but her name is Jilly, but her last name is not Bling. Okay, I thought that's just too crazy, but she designed this card and I cased it. I just changed the ribbon. So look at this. And then she's used the vellum. So that's the vellum that comes in this set. That's the one sheet of vellum. I don't know if you can see it like that. It's really a beautiful card. Yeah, here you can see the vellum. You can see through it. And then it goes like this. And then I'll show you the back side because it was her idea to tuck behind the vellum to tuck that cardstock that's basic beige and, and basic and white. And it's just really beautiful. So, and this embossing folder is also still available. I think it's called Snowflake Sky. And these dies are also from an online exclusive. Okay, so there's this one, and then there's this one. And this one just got this lush bow, this lush ribbon going all through it. And then this is emb embellished. And it's really pretty paper as well. Okay, so I hope I've made you fall in love with the golden green paper. It really is stunning. So there we have it. And I am done for today. It was really nice to see you guys all. Thank you so much, Anne. I, uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And happy stamping. I know it's sunny.